Okay, let's start. Okay. okay. So you're going to talk about this new product. What is it? What is it? Okay, so there's this thing that I just discovered like this week. It's called Jot, J O T T. All right, it's Jot. But rather than to talk so much about it, why don't I just show you? Mm -hmm. So I've got Jot's number on my cell phone. Sure. It's called Jot now. And it's going to call Jot. I'm going to put it on speaker. You can hear. So first thing is who you want to Jot. So myself. Okay, it's kind of noisy, so we try again. I want to jot myself. I'm supposed to say myself. Myself. So this is a demonstration of Jot, and Jot basically converts your voice into text. And you can have this transla uh, transcription sent to you via email, Twitter, or blog, or as a reminder. Can I see? It? Can we see it mm -hmm. on the web page or in your? Oh. Got it. Twitter. Correct. I do not understand what you said. <laughs> Try again. Yes. So this is a demonstration of Jot going straight into Twitter. Blogger. We found more than one match. Or so every day. Press or say one. Or blogger. Press or say two. To cancel and start over, press star. Or say cancel. Blogger. We found more than one match. Or so every day. Press or say one. Or blogger. Press or say two. To cancel and start over, press star. Or say cancel. Two. Blogger. This is a post I'm making on my blog from my cell phone. Just a regular cell phone. So check this out. Okay, so each time I call Jot, first thing it asks is who do you want to Jot? I can Jot myself, so it sends a message to myself. I can Jot uh, my Twitter, so it'll send a message to, to my Twitter account. Or I can Jot to my uh, blog, so I've got a few blogs, that's why was, there was a bit of confusion there to tell which blog I wanted it to be sent. And I can even set up reminders, and if I say reminder, it'll ask me where, when, or what, when, it, when I want it and then leave a message. So it'll actually call me back or whatever when I set okay. the alert. And everything's through voice. You don't have to type anything. Okay. Great for phones that don't have keyboards or even iPhone if you have trouble typing. Uh -huh. So now that it's all said and done, next thing you do is when you go back to your uh, email, oh. you start to receive messages. Okay, But the thing is, it takes a while. It okay. just takes a while for it to process. to process and then after it will come to you. So the first one that came in, is called. this is the, this is the first one. Oh. And notice the transcription. Uh-huh. So, so this, this is a demonstration of Jot and Jot basically converts your voice into text and you have this transcription sent to you by email, Twitter or blog or as a reminder. So where am I going to see the real post or just Jot? Okay, so the one that's sent to myself gets sent to email. Oh. Uh, okay. okay. Now, just to explain a little bit here, look at this interface. There's mm -hmm. this thing called transcription confidence. Mm -hmm. If your transcription is confident as high mm -hmm. means that they, the system knows that um, feels that your the transcription is accurate then if it's noisy sometimes it has to guess mm -hmm. they'll say low mm -hmm. so that gives you confidence level okay very important then you can do all these kinds of other stuff lots of things but you can also see the original <laughs> post on the Twitter uh, on the jot itself so I'm just gonna refresh here so if you go to your original this is your inbox in jot when you sign in I'm just gonna go to the first one and uh, oh, this is the one. Sorry, it's the one here. 
you can see the transcription. If you hit this play button, you can actually hear. This is a demonstration of Jot, and Jot basically converts your voice into text. And you can have this transli uh, transcription sent to you by email, tweeted, or blog, or as a reminder. Okay, so that's it. So. It, and you also spoke up yeah, about I'm sorry, it. it I didn't know. No, no, but notice that it's smart enough to kind of yeah. like discern, right? Yeah. So that's yeah, the first one. <laughs> and just, you know, on my phone, it uh -huh. sent me an SMS. Uh -huh. And this is important. Uh -huh. The SMS t gives you feedback whether or not it's been posted. Okay. So in this case, it says here, blogger post successful. Oh, okay? wow. Okay, so great. Yeah. Because otherwise, you don't know if it's reset. Yeah, so we can. So I could be on the move without internet and I can still blog. So that's awesome. So if I were to uh, refresh this again, the other posts should start coming in. <laughs> Um, unfortunately, it's got the first one, but we'll go to my blogger account, okay. and so this is a test blog that I have. Uh -huh. And if I refresh, you can see that this blog post I made came up. Notice that it says job blog blog post. Uh -huh. and so this is the first time we can block uh, making my blog from a cell phone. Uh -huh. It's just a regular cell phone, so check this out. It even gives you a link to listen to the original transcription, uh -huh. so you can see it here. And if I have to hit this, okay, so it's pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. um, Basically, this is like a phone cast. Yeah, it's like back in the day, the earliest thing I could think of is this thing called audio blog, and it Podcast. allowed you to. It, it, it was actually podcasting, it was less of a transcription. Yeah. But this is neat because it's, it's speech recognition and it's text-to-speech technology and it's using all these technologies to integrate with the social web that you might be on, whether you're on Twitter, blogs or whatnot. Um, you can even send messages to your friends. So let's say I program your cell phone number into, okay. into, into Jot. I could say, who's this for? Then I could say, uh, Ping Xia. Uh -huh. And it will actually send you a text message from my voice. Wow. Okay, or an email. I could send to a group of people too. So I could say my team or my mm -hmm. class. I could send a message out to everybody via email straight from my phone. Mm -hmm. So lots of fancy stuff you can do. And the only thing about this is that um, it only works in US and Canada right now. Oh, okay. Okay, because of the cell phone agreements mm -hmm. and all that. Um, and um, right now they're slowly integrating with other services. So let me just show you what else it can do. If you look over here, you can see you can Twitter, add Twitter. Yahoo, Jaiko, Blogger, Silo. This is for real estate people. I don't know what Estimate on, on houses. Life Journal, WordPress, TypePad. Yeah. 30 boxes as well, the yeah, calendaring. So, so lots of really cool stuff. And you can add more if it isn't in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's very convenient. So here actually shows what I've linked. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I can add more than one blog, more than one Twitter and whatnot. If you have, <laughs> if you have multiple identities, then this is great. Um, but yeah, the only thing is, it takes a while to process. Um, mm -hmm. But as soon as it's done, it actually sends it to your uh, cell phone. I mean, to your uh, email. Uh -huh. So if I check my email again, you can see all my activities all logged. Uh -huh. So you can see that the Twitter one has been tweeted. Let's oh, check wow. Twitter and see whether it shows up. Twitter.com. And I'll have to log in, of course. Oops. Oops. You gotta keep your username. Okay, not now. Let's see if it really posted. It the there you go. Oh, Pretty wow. neat, right? Yeah, but you can't really listen to it on Twitter, right? Oh yeah, you can't, but... But there's a tiny URL. This is much better than me yeah. typing it in my iPhone even. It's so convenient. Yeah, great. So, Jot is pretty powerful. It's free as a beta for now. Uh -huh. and. Uh, I think it's really useful tool for anybody, especially if you're on the go and you've got no internet access. So try it, jot.com. Mm -hmm. Thanks.